What is happening, you guys? Today I'm going to be talking about Spider-Man Homecoming. Now, this is the sixth adaptation of Spider-Man on the big screen since 2002. And I'd say something right there because everyone loves Spider-Man. Most of them got decent reviews. And um, this one, I'm just going to point this out here. This is the best Spider-Man movie since Spider-Man 2. Now, this is Tom Holland's second time portraying Spider-Man on the big screen. The first time, if you guys haven't seen it, Captain America Civil War, which is a really good movie, too. So, let me just say, this Tom Holland, he is so freaking lucky to be playing Spider-Man. Any kid would want to be playing him, and for him just doing it, so lucky, man. Now, this movie starts off with events after Civil War, and Peter Parker wants to try to impress Tony Stark in a sense of trying to be an Avenger. And Peter Parker is trying to do this while being a high school kid and ha having some romance drama and stuff and still trying to be an Avenger. <laughs> and this movie is kind of like an origin story without really being an origin because Peter already has his powers. And they did a good job at that, I'll admit that. It took some risk, but they did a good job overall. We see Peter always hiding stuff from his friends and family, and he's always getting himself into awkward situations at school and at home, just like any normal teenage kid. And that's the thing I liked about this movie. It was really relatable compared to any other teenage kid. Any other teenage kid is always running into awkward problems, just like Peter Parker. And Tom Holland, he portrayed Spider-Man and Peter Parker with both perfection. He was so good at in this movie. And we also have Michael Keaton as Vulture. And he was a total badass. He was so great. And his backstory and motivation was just so awesome. And Michael Keaton, his voice isn't loud or anything, but he's just so direct and straightforward. It's just like so intimidating and creepy. And we also have Iron Man in this movie. And if you guys haven't watched any trailers, then you would probably be satisfied and going into this movie very satisfying and hoping to get a good movie. But if you guys did watch a bunch of the trailers, you're probably expecting it to be an Iron Man movie. Well, it's not. This is strictly a Spider-Man movie. And when Tony Stark or Iron Man is in this movie at the right times, he does a good job at it. I was really nervous it was going to be like Iron Man 4 or something, but it was definitely Spider-Man Homecoming. A thing I admired and liked in a way about this film was it was different. It took risk. It wasn't like the same old Spider-Man story with Uncle Ben getting killed um, and getting bit by a spider and stuff. It's just a different take on the story, and I admire that a lot. Spider-Man Homecoming was funny. I was very surprised that it was actually this funny. And you ever wondered what would happen if Spider-Man was walking through, I don't know, a golf course or some sort, and there is no buildings to web swing on? Well, we find this out. Spider-Man isn't always in downtown New York flying across buildings. And that's cool because you actually get to see what happens when Spider-Man's not in a situation like that. This film really felt like a teenage kid movie. In the other Spider-Man films, it felt like Spider-Man was like full-time superhero and like part high school student, like very rarely. But in this movie, he has to deal with a lot of problems involving high school, and I did like that a lot. Now, as I said before, Spider-Man in this film, a lot of the stuff is different. You guys might not like all the stuff that's different and what's changed. One thing I did not like in particular at all was the high-tech suit. I felt like he was in his Iron Man body. I didn't really like it. I mean, some people might have, but maybe it'll grow on me. But as of right now, I don't really like it at all. And another thing I didn't really like about this film was there were some side villains that were just thrown in there, like, <laughs> they didn't really have any backstory or, or motivation. What's the sense of having a villain that doesn't have a backstory or motivation? A couple of villains are just, hey, you're that one, you're that one. It's, it kind of makes no sense. And the villains, 
what Marvel has done in the past, they've struggled on villains in a sense. And they did a good job at Vulture. But, I mean, either just keep him and ha have some other people. Or just don't make any other villains besides Vulture because you're just going to mess it up even more. The other villains just feel like a waste and I'm not sold at all. It just felt kind of sloppy in a way. Now with this movie, Spider-Man Homecoming, I'm going to give this a B plus. Going into the theater, I'll tell you, I really wanted to give this an A or I A minus going into it. Because I didn't have high expectations because of what is a Spider-Man film. But when two of the biggest thing, the villains and the suit, I mean they are big things about the film. When they're a downfall on my part, I can't give this an A. I wish I could, but I'm going to give it a B plus, like I said. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that way you can see me next time. Thanks for watching.